There's a couple things that have to be threaded correctly no matter which machine you own. And on the Singer Fashion Mate 3342, that includes putting the bobbin in correctly. Now, before I show you how it's gonna look down here, I wanna show you when you wind a bobbin on the top of the machine and you finish winding it and you cut your thread and you lift it up. Before you lift it up, you can actually see that this is the exact way that it needs to go into the bobbin area because on your bobbin case door, you do see that it shows that the thread must come off the bobbin counterclockwise. So that means if I hold this up, the thread is coming off the left side. So when it drops in and we pull it, it spins counterclockwise. So if you're here, you can lift it up and drop it right into the bobbin area. Now, that's not always the case because sometimes you already have a bobbin wound. So you need to pull it out, look at it, make sure your thread is correct, matches the picture on the door, which I love that they put that picture there so I can always double check that I am doing it correctly. Once you drop it in, you are going to find that if you bring your thread so it hooks itself underneath this little uh, gray arm, there's a little arrow. When it slides underneath this, this is helping it guide itself into the bobbin case tension. So for about six o'clock to about 7.30 is where the thread is gonna click into place. I like to hold my finger on the bobbin while I give it a little pull, and you can even feel it click in. And it kind of, once you're here, you can really feel it's in there. It's a little bit tighter. Then follow the guides all the way around in the arrow right here where it has you cut it. So I'm gonna actually show you something after I quick do a little sewing. One thing nice about this cut here is it is the perfect length. You don't have to bring the bobbin thread up when you start to sew. You just need to put that cover or door back in place. And let's just, I'm gonna just take a few stitches just to show you what it's gonna look like once we have sewn a stitch. So I'm gonna turn my hand wheel till my take up lever comes to the highest position, lift up my presser foot and pull this out and cut the thread on the side. So now what you do see is a thread when it has been properly threaded. Do you see this pink thread from here to here? You can, and you'll be able to see that through the clear door, which I love, is when you see that thread that is coming out about that 730 area I talked about, and then it comes up through the throat plate where the other two other thread is, and you can feel it has a little resistance. If for any reason you don't see the thread sitting on top of the bobbin, then it is not in the bobbin tape case tension. That's when you will flip it over and you'll probably see something that doesn't look real straight or even on the top. It's because there's not enough resistance for these two threads to perfectly meet in the middle of the two fabrics. So if you have any trouble, you're going to uh, re-thread the machine, check to make sure it's clean underneath the uh, whole throat plate. Check out our cleaning and maintenance video. Make sure you have a new needle in and then also just double check your thread is sitting and will lay across there after you've threaded it correctly and taken a few stitches.